August 17th. We're just a day or two from uh, school starting again and I just wanted to give you guys uh, a few updates and a little additional information. So you may have heard that the uh, mask order uh, from the governor's office was extended which means that masks are required moving in and about a public space like school. So uh, similar to what I described in previous videos and also what we described in the health updates. Uh, we've also newly enrolled our staff in a monitoring program with COVID Test Colorado and staff can get tested every two weeks with that program. So we'll have additional information and uh, the turnaround time for that testing is uh, two to three days. So pretty good turnaround time and we're happy to be partnering with that program. Uh, some questions along supplies. I've recommended that parents buy the individual supplies if available. I know it's really difficult right now to get some of those supplies. The school does have some additional things, uh, backpacks and pencils and personal items. Kids won't be sharing them. If you're entering into the online program or you have online days, obviously you probably want to set up a study area for your kids. And with that, um, you're going to want individual supplies for that. So I think it's wise to purchase what you can uh, for students to be able to do their work at home or at school recognizing that they're not going to be sharing things. Um, and we also recognize it's difficult to get some of those items right now. They're in short supply. Uh, we did buy an electrostatic disinfectant sprayer, uh, which is new, and that's going to help us with a higher level of cleanliness in the building. And uh, we're testing that this week and making sure that uh, it works the way we want it to work. So we did receive uh, some new guidelines from the state and I wanted to share those with you as an update on what happens if we do get a COVID case in the school. And what we received was if students or staff have a positive test result or have major symptoms with a known exposure to someone with COVID, schools will still have to send an entire classroom or cohort of students home. When there's evidence of a broader spread, entire schools may have to close. That hasn't changed. But in cases where students or staff have mild symptoms that resolve within 24 hours, and community transmission is low, the new guidance lays out ways for schools to stay open. It allows students and staff to return to school if they have a negative COVID test, even after being exposed. So we're looking at ways that that aligns with the plans that we've shared with you uh, all summer long and making sure that the new guidelines match that. One of the things that I'm most proudest of is that we have not deviated from our plan. The return to school committee put a plan together, shared that with our school community based on survey results, guidelines from the state, and input from our parents and staff. And we haven't changed that. As we have received new information, that information has been incorporated with the plan, but really hasn't changed the way that we've offered a return to school for students. Right now, it's quite remarkable that with the exception of two retirements, our entire staff is coming back. I think they trust that the plan we put together and they put their faith in the school community. I'm asking you as parents to return that trust with us. Please make sure that you've checked your kid's temperature before you leave the house. Yes, they will be checked when they get to school, but it's one of those things where if a kid's uh, not feeling well, to give them ibuprofen or Advil or Motrin and send them to school just isn't gonna cut it anymore. Um, one or two cases, as I just read with the guidelines, could shut down the entire school. So it's one of those things where I think that um, you've trusted us for 24 years with the success and well-being of your students. Um, I'm asking parents to be honest with us and let us know if there are things that um, may affect this plan. This plan will only work if everyone is pulling together and headed the same direction. Um, we've been here for you. And, and I'd like to ask uh, you to be here for us in response to that. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us. Um, we've been in correspondence with parents um, every single day uh, for the last several weeks as we lay this out. School is starting in a day or two, and I think it's uh, very likely to have a successful start to the school year if everyone is on the same page. So thank you for being a part of this, uh, and uh, we'll see you in a day or two.